why Muslim conversion therapy needs to be banned immediately. On July 20th, Prime Minister Boris Johnson made a statement that he would consider banning so-called conversion therapy after his government had carried out a study. Conversion, quote unquote, therapies are often associated with Christian practices, but these practices also take place in Muslim communities. Pink News spoke to ha oh, ha ha Khalid, <laughs> um, uh, a gay man from a Muslim family who underwent a rukya, an attempt to cure, quote unquote, his desire for men. He described his experience of the exorcism, and for six months afterwards, he would emotionally and physically torment himself at moments where he felt that he wanted to masturbate or when he wanted sex. He would scold himself for his overwhelmingly evil urges and swear at himself for being so weak and punch himself as though he needed to be physically shocked out of the feeling. A UK ban on conversion therapy would benefit all LGBT citizens, especially those from religious backgrounds. Wait, why, why was this not banned already in UK? Um, that's a good question. I mean, they're coming forth with better evidence to validate such a ban. So it's a positive movement. Um, but yeah, it should have been banned already. Um, but I actually wanted to bring up this news. Because Wait, there's a huge, there's an, amber okay, it's gone. Go on. Yeah. Um, I wanted to bring up this news because of the source that was reporting on it. So Pink News is kind of notorious for being like, well, in my opinion, very regressive lefty and not, they're, they're terrible at not criticizing Islam when it's man warranted. Oh. Um, especially earlier this summer or within the past year, the past couple of months, there was an incident where two gay men were stabbed by a Muslim guy and they refused to um, basically acknowledge the fact that this guy assaulted him and stabbed these people because of um, religious belief. Yeah, they have a tendency to be apologists, and so I thought it was really um, good movement that they put forward this article. And the description of this guy's experience was um, important to share. Okay, your camera is frozen, Susanna. You turn I know. It off your, turn it off your camera on and off, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. Come back. Are you back? Oops, still frozen. Maybe. Oh, there, there we go. There Hi. We go. There we go. Hey. Um, okay, so here's a, here's my question. Why are we, why, why is this, there's a focus on Muslim conversion therapy rather than just conversion therapy? Is most conversion therapy in the UK Muslim conversion therapy? No, so what, what this article was trying to highlight was the fact that most conversion therapy in the UK is Christian. But most people don't actually know that this is a practice that also happens in Islam. So that was part of the motivation for this article was to bring more awareness to the fact that this happens as well in a different faith. Um, yeah, which I thought was important movement in the right direction to, you know, like if we're going to call out Christianity and um, this barbaric practice within Christianity, we also need to acknowledge when it happens in other faiths as well. Um, yeah. Does anyone else have... Um, Thoughts and feelings on this? I second you. <laughs> okay. Um, is there any backlash from the Muslim community on this? On the writing of the article, not that I've found so far, although the um, man that this was written about was using a different name, and I haven't been able to find the author of this piece on Twitter, for example. So if there was backlash, I certainly didn't see it against the people responsible for this article. Um, and I appreciate Pink News for moving in the right direction because um, Douglas Murray, for example, has had a lot of harsh words against them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's important if to, like... Uh, if people who were like regressive leftists, if they sometimes slightly go off, like, hey, maybe we should like change our ways a little bit instead of like, like instead of telling them, hey, what it's a bad time, like, oh, like you guys were being hypocrites before. Instead of doing that, I think it helps actually telling us, like, 
yay, good job, good, do more, like encourage them to be like, oh, oh, there's actually support for us if we do, if we're consistent with our values and if we cover this, because they probably will get some backlash for people that are from the Wokey mob that might go after them. So it's, it's good to actually, instead of just constantly shaming them, but to also like, um, even if the progress is small, to recognize it. So it's good that Susanna, uh, thank you for bringing it up, yeah. Yeah, oh, and someone was asking what, it, I should have given more background about what conversion therapy is. Yeah, thank you, this right. comment from Soraya. So um, conversion therapy is any number of, well, therapy is not the correct word. I think it is mental abuse. Um, practices, it's torture, okay? It's, it's torture. torture. Short, short answer, it's torture. Um, it can take, it's typically religious forms of torture, um, but there are also secular, quote unquote, conversion therapies, um, but they are non-evidence-based practices to supposedly change the sexuality of an individual from having an attraction to someone of the same sex to only attraction to individuals of the opposite sex, if I was to put it simply. Right. Um, I think we're getting too much. Just short version, please. I just want to say something. I think the real thing to think about here is it pathologizes uh, homosexuality. It, may, it treats it like it's a disease, like it's an abnormal right. problem in a normal body that has to have some sort of prescription applied to it in order to move that mental state or body back to its normal homeostasis. Right. And that's the big okay. problem because it's not abnormal. It's not a pathology. Yeah. Same applies to transgender cool. individuals. To try to, Daniel, them, yeah. try to make them Daniel, straight and cis. Daniel is saying that uh, this follows a dodgy tweet from the UK government calling for a debate about conversion therapy. I don't know what that's referring to, but um, again... Um, but I wanted to read that comment because Daniel is a member. So we have to make sure that we're, again, contractually obligated to read um, as many comments as we can from our members. AJ is saying, I think Pink News has a lot of good articles, but also have a lot of regressive leftist um, bias journals. Um, AJ is also saying, I went to a gender clinic in Toronto that tried conversion therapy on me. Wow. In, in group, they paired us with the opposite sex and made us hold hands and hug, etc. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they actually genuinely think that works. Like, okay, so guys, if you're straight and you're watching this, imagine yourself how many times holding hands with the same sex is going to make you attracted. <laughs> like, imagine that in your head. Like, imagine like if somebody forces you to hold hands with the, the same sex as you. What the, what are the chances of that actually end up making you gay? That's what they think is going to work on gay people. Yeah, That's... there there is no amount of Armin <laughs> holding hands with a man that is going to make Armin attract to a man. Um, hey. but thank you for sharing your experience, AGA. I have another friend who is a survivor of conversion therapy because that's really what it is. It's it's a survivor of um a, a, a mental torture regime and um. I, I would love to hear you write a short story about that, actually. That'd hey, be really interesting. ARN, who actually sometimes is very aggressively rude to me, actually has a very good uh, point. ARN is saying, wait, did that happen in Toronto? I can claim to be gay and get to fill up a woman? Count me in. I mean, ARN, if, you, if you're so desperate that you actually need to hold hands with somebody, like that is like a special day for you, I think like... I mean, I don't know, man. I feel what sorry. Kind like... of ins <laughs> what kind of fins? What kind of are we dealing with here? Uh, I'm just kidding. ARN is very, very lonely right now. Somebody help him. Um, yeah, it was a fail. AGA is AGA is confirming that it failed. Um, all right, all right. News. Right. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not 
telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.